Hey everybody, I got home, uh, I guess, uh, about two hours ago, and, uh, I got out, and first thing I did was wash the truck, because I figured there's no sense going in the house and getting cleaned up, so I washed the truck, before I get out of the truck, though, here, let me show you, uh, nope, Okay, there was my route. And you're saying, what the heck is that? Well, let me see. That is, I traveled all the way up to Idaho Falls, turned around and came back, went down to the, the bottom of Florida, and then went up to Indiana, and then back from Indiana back to the house, which is where I'm at now. So, uh, let's see, let me turn that off. So, let me see if I can turn directions off. And, uh, there you go. Turn everything off so you can see better. So, that was uh, what I did since I left the house. I left the house with the Dyersburg, Tennessee, and then uh, from Dyersburg, Tennessee, up to Idaho Falls, and I did head back to uh, across uh, Nebraska and then dropped down and got a load out of uh, Topeka. And uh, from Topeka, I ran down to uh, Immokalee, Florida. From Immokalee, Florida, I ran up to Lake City, booked the load, ran up to Macon and grabbed the load, took it to um, Indianapolis, Indiana, and then, uh, and then uh, uh, deadheaded to the house. And so... And, uh, that's, and so I, I don't, I looked at the load board, I didn't see anything that interests me. It's been about, uh, a minute. <laughs> and, uh, I said, well, I'm going in the house. So, here I am, I'm at the house. So, here, um, let me... shut that down okay so i got i got here like i was saying earlier um i got here and cleaned the truck and then when i cleaned the truck i noticed rick the bee had been out there playing with the weed eater and when she got the 350 covered in grass so i went from i went from this truck See what you guys think. Uh, wrong way. How about that? Okay, so I cleaned this truck up. Got her done. Then I went to the 350 because it was covered in grass. And got that one cleaned up. And then Ruthie's been driving the 150 because her car needs an alternator or something like that. So I got the 350 done, the 150 cleaned up, the big belly rig cleaned up, uh, Ruthie B's car is out of commission for now, it runs and everything, it's just not charging, so look at that, gas can, somebody left it in the sun and it imploded on itself, <laughs> so, and I figured that thing, uh, uh, I hardly ever drive it. It just broke a hundred thousand miles. Never had any problems with it. That I haven't had it out of here yet, so no need to clean that. And this one here, uh, it's a little dusty from sitting in the garage, but no need to clean it. Uh, this bike here. It's got a blown shock. I need to fix it, and it's been leaking oil all over the uh, 
the uh, front wheel so I made sure I cleaned that the white wall up and gave that bike a bath so it's all cleaned up let's see there you go let's see what you guys think I almost fail uh, that back wheel is not so fun to clean even when I got a brush it helps me but I did get it clean somewhat I guess well man that thing once it zooms in it is real touchy so what do you think is that clean enough for you uh, that's uh, from wearing nylon pants when riding a motorcycle <laughs> Yep, that is not uh, the thing to do. Got a few water spots I need to wipe down tomorrow. Then I went for a bike ride on my bicycle, not on the motor scooter. I don't have, I don't have any. I'm wearing shorts. I ain't going for a bike ride with my shorts, so... So that bike is all cleaned up. Like I said, this one's dusty. I don't ever ride it. Um, I need to get a front tire for it and a battery cover. Uh, it could probably use some brake pads. Brake pads, a battery cover, and a, a, a front tire. Something's going on. It looks like it needs grips, too. It looks like somebody's dropped it or something, so. Um, I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. Somebody ever want to come along and uh, buy it from me? I, I won't complain. I got uh, about, i probably let it go. I don't know. What would I let this thing go for? Uh, I would let it go, I don't know, like it sits, uh, I think I got around 68 in it, so I guess I'd let it go for about 7, just to say goodbye. This one here, I need to get a, a new timing gear in it, and, uh, and then put a fuse box in it back here. And uh, that's probably it with this one. She's a, a box of jewelry, that one is. That's a beautiful bike. One day I'll get her up and going. I took it for one spin. That's all I got out of it. So. Okay. I'm going to show you guys what I did. I'm at the house. I'm sure everybody's wondering what's going on in the house, so uh, it's getting getting pretty close to dark, so I better go grab my laundries and my bags and run in the house, say hi to everybody, and get to eating something because uh, I don't eat after 8 o'clock, so if I don't get to eating, I'm gonna, it's going to be a long time before 12 o'clock comes back around tomorrow. That's when I can eat again. Well, you guys have an awesome Friday. God bless you. Uh, may God bless you. Have a great Friday and a, a Saturday morning. Have lots of fun. And 